Graphisoft Eco Designer allows architects to perform a quick energy evaluation of their design using the dynamic, reliable, and certified VIP core calculation engine developed by Strusoft, all from within ARCHICAD. The Building Energy Evaluation Report provides instant design feedback by providing information on the energy efficiency of the building and the applied structures, the yearly energy consumption, carbon footprint, and monthly energy balance of the project. EcoDesigner uses a simple three-step workflow to determine the energy characteristics of the project, analyze, calculate, and display the results. Let's quickly review these steps now. Analyze. The model analysis helps to define the structure groups as the basis of energy calculations. EcoDesigner does an automated model analysis when it runs for the first time on specific design projects. The analysis defines the building shell and also divides the structural members into different categories such as roofs, floors, external and basement walls as well as interior structures. The model analysis done dialog box displays the number of building shell and interior elements found in the project. The model review palette helps designers to fine-tune and alter the automated model analysis in a user-friendly way. The structural groups are displayed with different colors on the floor plan and also in the 3D window to greatly help the model review. Please note that all the following calculation data must be defined only once before the first energy evaluation of the project. ARCHICAD Eco Designer will automatically store this data for future reuse. At the Location and Function page of the Eco Designer, you can select the location by either selecting a city from the predefined list of locations or by entering the latitude and longitude coordinates of the site. The corresponding weather data, air temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, and solar radiance will be downloaded automatically from the online weather database. Here you can set Project North. Choose a wind protection option that best describes your building's wind exposure and the surroundings option that best describes the environment of the building. At the Facade Shading dialog, you can define the extent to which shadows are cast on each side of the building. You can also select the complexity of the project. The more complex the building, the more it is self-shaded and the less it is affected by direct sunlight. After defining the function of the building, the corresponding temperature and heat gain profile graphs are displayed automatically. You can also define a multifunctional project by defining primary and additional functions with their corresponding area ratio. At the Structure dialog, you can input relevant information about the characteristics of the building structures, divided into three main categories, building shell elements, interior structures, and underground structures. The building shell elements are listed in groups with additional properties relevant for energy evaluation. Note the line at the left of the U-value column. Properties to the left of this line are generated by your project elements. Properties to the right of this line, however, can be modified. U value, surface, and infiltration. In the U value calculator, the skins that make up the selected structure are listed with their relevant properties. Any of these can be edited manually if necessary. For each selected skin, the U value calculator calculates the average heat transmission coefficient displayed in the bottom right corner of the panel. Please note that the calculated U-value shown in this dialog box is an initial approximation that is used by most national standards. The energy evaluation carried out by EcoDesigner uses an accurate dynamic calculation algorithm that evaluates heat transmission of the building envelope structures at every hour throughout one year.
The result of this dynamic analysis is displayed on the Energy Evaluation Report. The Thermal Property Assignment Panel lists all the fill types used in the project with their relevant building physical properties. Here you can edit any value either directly or by choosing defined values from the material catalog. Any change here will be automatically reflected in all project elements that include the edited fill. The material catalog is an extensive database integrated within EcoDesigner that contains building material information relevant to the energy calculations. The building materials are grouped in main categories with detailed drop-down lists to enable easy access and quick selection. The internal heat storage mass pop-up list describes the building's internal heat storage mass using one of the three available options. The underground insulation data is needed to determine the linear thermal currents characteristic of structures that are in contact with the ground. The openings page of the Eco Designer dialog box lists data for all of the building's openings by orientation and opening type. Note that openings are not listed one by one. Instead, the data is compiled for the opening type and orientation. For example, the first row lists the total data for all the windows in the northeast orientation. Click the arrow on the shading device field to apply a shading device with its predefined physical properties to the selected entry. The thermal properties of external openings may be attached from the built-in opening catalogs or can be entered manually where specific product properties are available. At the MEP System and Energy Dialog, you can provide relevant information about the proposed MEP systems to ensure an accurate calculation. Here you can enter the input water temperature for hot water generation, define the used cooling, ventilation, and air-to-air -air energy recovery system types, and enter optional characteristics for heat pump and solar panels if appropriate. The carbon footprint of the project will be evaluated by providing the local price for the types of energy used. At the Carbon Footprint Evaluation dialog, you can define the sources of purchased energy that is expended for heating and other energy use. Here you can also set the prices of the purchased energy. These prices, of course, vary by location and must be entered numerically. At the bottom, you can also define the building source of electricity from the drop-down list. Calculate. Once all the necessary input data is provided, EcoDesigner will store all calculation input data for easy future reuse. Click the Start Evaluation button. EcoDesigner will launch Strusoft's VIP Core Calculation Engine to perform the dynamic energy analysis. Results EcoDesigner calculates the energy consumption of a building during a period of one year and displays the results on the Energy Balance Evaluation Report. Key values display basic information such as project name, location, and activity type. Summarized energy consumption results are available as a pie chart and in a numeric table as well. Energy consumption is calculated according to prime energy usage. The average heat transmission value of the entire building is also identified. The energy consumption pie chart displays the percentage distribution of used energy sources graphically. Below the pie chart, the two most important numerical values, the yearly total and the unit specifics amount of consumed energy, are displayed in large fonts. The Carbon Footprint Index provides information on the carbon dioxide emissions resulting from the building's operation over the course of one year. The area of the tropical forest that absorbs this carbon dioxide quantity is also included for comparison. The Monthly Energy Balance Bar chart is a graphical display of the amount of energy the building emits at the top of the chart, 
as well as the building supplied energy at the bottom of the chart. The supplied energy is the amount of energy the building absorbs from the environment and its own internal heat sources. The building energy evaluation report can be instantly saved to your computer in PDF format. Graphisoft Eco Designer provides instant energy sensitive feedback at every stage of the design by performing a dynamic energy calculation and producing a graphical evaluation of energy consumption.